Ottawa, the capital city of Canada, but not Ontario. It's an historic city, a political city, but that's not its entire identity. It also has great food. My wife and I spent 72 hours in Canada's capital. This is 72 hours in Ottawa. We got in late after a long drive and left our hotel for a pub down the street. Sir John A. Pub is a great pub named after the very first Prime Minister of Canada, Sir John A. Macdonald. So what did you order? I didn't order yet, but I ordered fish and chips. So you want to get the fish and chips here? That makes sense. It's kind of like an English feeling for a pub. I'm going to go with chicken wings. I don't know what it is, but whenever I travel, I, I, if I go to a pub, I feel like I have to try their hot chicken wings and see how hot they really are. I'm a bit of a fiend when it comes to chicken wings, so I'm going to see if I rate them here. Wow, those fish and chips look amazing. And here are my hot wings. Yeah, not bad. Very crunchy for like non-breaded chicken wings. These are really, really crunchy. I love that. Not quite as spicy as I thought they'd be. Maybe I should have went for the suicide, but my heat tolerance is pretty high when it comes to chicken wings. Beautiful day for a walk. So me and my wife are walking from our hotel and we're gonna try to have a few things done on our list of things to do, which would be to see the canal and of course see the parliament buildings. Uh, the parliament buildings look beautiful from a distance. So this bridge here leads you from Quebec all the way to Ontario. We're actually staying at the Best Western Gatineau. That's actually in Quebec, not in Ottawa, but it's basically just a bridge away from Ontario. It's pretty interesting that you have this, this bridge that leads you right to the parliament of all of Canada, which is in Ottawa, which is a English speaking province. And then you have Quebec right next door, a literal bridge away. And look at this beautiful scenery, unbelievable architecture here. here the Clarendon Tavern and the Hyde Bar my god reminds me of uh, Montreal when we were there just about four months ago a lot of old bars kind of like classy feel to the city Toronto is an old city that's where I'm born and raised but I feel like as the city develops more and more decade by decade you're losing a lot of that kind of old nostalgia kind of heritage that Toronto used to have with the older buildings like places like Honest Ed's that were closed down now in lieu of more condos and stuff, you know, it kind of loses some of its personality like the city, but it seems like Ottawa is maintaining a lot of that partially because it is a political city. It's a city that is the capital of Canada and that definitely leads to it being more timeless. This is the market. So, Moulin de Provence, this is a nice market here right near the Parliament Square. So you got a bakery in the first part here. They probably have really nice bagels since it's not too far away from Montreal. It's actually like an hour and 15 minutes away from Montreal. So you're pretty close. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna get the eclair, chocolate eclair. For here, thank you. All right, try it, see if it's good. Really good? It's actually could, good, yeah. Yeah, I could tell by the, the expression that you change just slightly. Your face was like, oh, wow. Mm. <laughs> and a chocolate on the inside. Not vanilla. Nice chocolate cream there. Wow. This could be addicting. Thank God I don't live in Ottawa. I'd probably have this every day with the coffee. What do you recommend for the best poutine here? So normally our best we're out of right now. Because uh, <laughs> that's the one with the duck meat on it. The duck one? Yeah, that's, that's our signature yeah. one. We're all the duck right now. Yeah, which, yeah, which is the class? I'll get the Zupp's poutine. Zupp's poutine? Yeah. yeah. I'll get the barbecue. You're getting, yeah, she'll get the barbecue. Thank you. Oh, wow. That's great. Yeah. 
It smells nice though. Yours just smells really good. Okay. So we get one of these each. Our forks. Let's try it. Smoked cheese curds. Ooh, it's hot. Mmm. Oh, that is delicious. Really good. Really good. Let me try some of your... Yeah. yeah. I just want to try some of this barbecue. This is the one she recommended. Because they were out of their most recommended poutine, which is the duck poutine. Let's try the barbecue. Mm. I'm extremely jealous right now. That is incredible. We got the laugh draft. Huh. So it's the laugh for La, the name of the bar, La Faye. Around the same price as like Toronto Pub, like $9 a pint, which unfortunately the price of pints now is. Can I get a. A quart of the ABC Amber Ale. You don't want to try that? All right, I'll try it for you then. It's good. Lining up for rum usually means in Toronto that the spot is good. Will that be the case here? Must be a good ramen, huh? I don't know, it's pretty cool though. Japanese yeah. peach tonkatsu, shoyu, or spicy tantan. Yeah, I'm tempted to the tonkatsu. I don't know, it's just gonna be a surprise. Whatever you see in the next shot, that's what we're gonna order. Mm. Yeah, it's really nice. I don't know. Does it compare to ramen spots in Toronto? Toronto is like hub for ramen for Canada. I feel maybe Vancouver actually does a pretty good job competing, but know, right? the noodles are nice and thin though. That's the way we ordered them. You can get them thick or thin. <laughs> Nice and chewy though. That's good. Nice chashu. Mill Street Pub can be found in Toronto as well, but I mostly wanted to try the spot out due to the historic location and beautiful architecture. Starting off with the spicy edamame. It is vegan, so if you're vegan, it's something safe on the menu that you can have. Although I was tempted by the deep fried pickles, but I feel like we've been eating not the most healthy stuff that we've had in Ottawa so far, but delicious nonetheless. Cheers. The edamame was actually quite delicious. How good was that? Really good. We, okay, I forgot to film it was so good. I was, we were just scarfing them down. So I ended up actually deciding on getting the Everyday Brewer's Choice. It's gonna be like a New England IPA. She said it has like hints of pineapple in it. So we're gonna try that out. Seven dollars, you know, I'm saving two bucks on this. Sometimes you're on vacation, you kinda have to budget and we're budgeting this way, which is not much of a budget, but hey, to me that's budgeting, okay? It's pretty good actually. It's good, right? So we're going full Joe Rogan and we're going with the elk burger. Elk's my favorite. It's Korean barbecue glazed bacon, Canadian cheddar, red onion jam, chipotle aioli, and brioche bun. This is going to be delicious. So the waitress says. She said it was actually her favorite burger on the menu. And she said she wasn't just saying that because I ordered it. But you know what? First time having elk, so I'm really excited about this. Elk. Something else. By God, Joe Rogan was right. Elk is incredible. Why have I not tried elk before? I had a lovely time in Ottawa, and I'm thankful I got to visit. Have you ever been? Let me know in the comments. Until next time.